All right, I know it's been a long, cold winter and you're getting a little antsy to get out in the yard and plant. Well, not so fast there, champ. Hold on a second. Rather than going for broke with your garden, stick around and I'll tell you how to play the odds to avoid frost damage and plant at the right time. And I'll give you some tips on what you can do to get your garden ready for spring now. So come on, let's go. Hey, how you doing today? I'm Rick Bickling. Today in the How Do Gardener, we're talking about the most important factor in determining when you can plant any vegetable in your garden this spring. What is it? It's the last frost date for your area. And we'll talk about what that is and what it means and how to find it in a little bit. Man, it's been a long winter. Now, hey, I'm with you. You initially enjoyed the break from the heat. The Thanksgiving turkey, oh, it was magnificent. Christmas, delightful. And you even made a New Year's resolution to start your garden earlier this year. And let's face it, snow is pretty at up to a certain extent. Man, enough is enough. Come on already. I'm ready for spring. Now we all know a few people who just love winter and wish it would stick around 365 days a year. But when you think about it, they usually have a slightly crazed look in their eye, don't they? Now you know you're getting a bad case of cabin fever when you've already drank over 14 gallons of hot chocolate, burned 127 lavender scented candles while reading every book you own, You've binge watched all seasons of Game of Thrones 12 times. Your weekly knitting party has produced enough scarves, stocking caps, and mittens to clothe the entire neighborhood. All you've got left to kill time until spring is to work in your breakdance moves in the greenhouse. I, for one, am ready to get out in the yard and plant. Now, I know there's still a foot of snow on the ground, but I'm almost sure I saw some signs of plant life the other day. But uh, let me show you some what may be considered disturbing footage of what happens when you plant too soon. Now, if you have small children or medium-sized gardeners in the house, you may want to cover their eyes. This is your garden, and this is your garden after freeze damage. It's not a pretty sight. So, how do you know when it's safe to plant vegetables? Well, that depends on a couple different things. First, are you planting cool season or warm season vegetables? Second, and most importantly, is the last frost date for your area. And we're going to dig into that in just a minute. Cool season vegetables are usually the first crops you can plant in your garden in the spring. Now, depending on the variety, they can be planted a few weeks to even several months before the last frost date. These vegetables typically withstand cold weather and actually require cold temperatures to grow and thrive. Now some cold season vegetables are broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, collards, English peas, kale, kohlrabi, leeks, mustard greens, parsley, radishes, spinach, and turnips. And then there's warm season vegetables. Now warm season vegetables must be planted after any chance of frost has passed, so after the last frost date. And just like we saw a minute ago, if planted too early, frost will definitely kill them. Some warm season vegetables are beans, corn, cucumber, eggplant, gourds, melons, okra, peppers, pumpkins, southern peas, summer squash, sweet potatoes, and tomatoes. Okay, so what the heck is the last frost date anyway? It sounds like some kind of a children's movie about a fearless ice princess who sets off on an adventurous journey with a rugged ice man, his loyal reindeer, and, I don't know, maybe a naive snowman, all in order to help her estranged sister return spring to the land after her icy powers inadvertently trap the kingdom in an eternal winter. That kind of sounds like it would make a good movie.
No, that's not it. All right, so what is the last frost date? It starts with historical weather data collected over a 30-year period and compiled by the National Climactic Data Center from over 5,800 weather monitoring stations throughout the United States. All right, so what's the difference between a freeze date and a frost date? A freeze day is any day of the year that the temperature reaches 32 degrees or below. A frost day is any day of the year that the temperature reaches 36 degrees Fahrenheit or below. So why worry about frost days more than freeze days? Well, a freeze is what kills the plant, but these weather monitoring stations are typically mounted about six feet above the ground. And during clear, calm, and cold nights, the temperature at ground level where your garden is located can become much colder and freeze even though the temperature at the monitoring station is maybe only 36 degrees. So we're really just trying to play it just a little bit safer by concentrating on frost days rather than freeze days. In the spring, as temperatures start to warm, the last day of the year that a freeze day occurs is considered the last freeze day for that year. And as the temperatures continue to warm, although no more freeze days may occur, the last day of the year that a frost day occurs is considered the last frost date for that year, usually about a week or two after the last freeze date. So the last frost day for your area is the day of the year, based on these 30 year averages, that there's only a 10% chance of frost occurring after that date. So at least statistically, you're safe to plant after that day. Now remember, although statistically accurate, you're really just playing the odds with these dates. It's kind of like going to Las Vegas, and instead of gambling with your money, you put your, I don't know, your tomato plants on the poker table and play. Please note for your own safety, do not attempt this in any gaming establishment. So before planning, you should always check your local weather forecast to see if a frost is, or a freeze is in the forecast. Hey, before I forget, if you find this video helpful, make sure you click on like, subscribe, and the little bell for notification. Okay, so now the big question, how do you find the last frost date for your given area? Well, it's easy. All you have to do is download the data set from the National Climactic Data Center, cross-reference it with the database from the Post Service that matches your zip code with the latitude and longitude found in the National Climactic Data Center, and then find the hypotenuse of the triangle to determine exact... No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to do any of that. I've actually already done it for you. Just click on the link below on my HowDoGardener.com website. I've actually created a tool. Let me show you how it works. Put in your five-digit zip code in that field. Click on the Find It button. Give it a minute and now the data will pop up. What you're going to see is a couple of different things. The name of the nearest weather monitoring station. And right below that, your spring last freeze date and last frost date. And in the fall, if you're interested below that, you can see the fall first freeze and first frost dates. If you want to enter another zip code, click the reset button, put in the next zip code, press find it, and there you go. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your gardening and plant at the right time. Have a great day. See ya.